this is the energy vibration reading for the um aquarians um sun moon horizon sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of january and the month of january is the energy of the water sign so whatever is happening um for you aquarians we are going to be seeing the transition that is going to be coming in for you guys okay so for you aquarians wow it is five weeks okay um it's all about um the weeks it is all five weeks okay so um we're going to be looking to see what is transpiring in these five weeks so the first week we have the two of pentacles that you're dealing with so you have to make a decision in the first week whatever the situation is in the first week it is um it's basically good because you have to make a decision whatever decision you make it's going to be the infinity wisdom of whatever is about to come in your life okay so that is good let's see what is happening for you guys in the second week the five of Pentacles is here for you Aquarians in the second week so there is a situation where you have to make um, a decision about your financial stability um, um, coming up in the month okay here we go we have the seven of cups the seven of cup energy is a very positive energy because there is new office that is going to be coming up in the third week as we look at the fourth week we have justice coming up in the fourth week which is very very positive so we are going to be seeing what is aligning in the fourth week because justice is here justice is coming up in the fourth week as we look forward to the fifth week we have the energy of the hangman so in the fifth week it is sort of a uh, what the hell is going on and now what should I do trying to find balance within yourself and understanding what exactly is transpiring okay so um, well your month of January um, is looking because we have earth then we have uh, we have uh, first week or the second week or the third week we have water and the third week is going to be your best week you Aquarians okay uh, the fourth week is going to be the best week for you Aquarians you have a water energy you're dealing with the Angman energy and that is the Pisces energy okay so hurt hurt um, water um, hair and water the hang woman I never saw this it is the ang woman so in the fifth week a lot of you women are going to be a I, I don't know what is going on this needs something needs to happen okay so let's move forward and see what is coming out of the first week in the second week this earth sign we see the six of swords you are going to decide to end a situation and walk away okay it's as if a situation you make a decision okay so in the first week going in the second week is as if you make a decision you make a decision in the first week about an hardship um, um, about a situation that you have been in for quite some time and in the first week you make the decision um, hell no I'm handing this I'm getting out of this I'm going to get myself to a positive place and you make the decision in the first week going in the second week in the second week going in the third week um, you are dealing with the princess of Pentacles this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whatever the situation is I'm receiving that some of you were roommates and you're deciding to leave um, for some of you some of you this is a sister rivalry for some of you this is the energy of a friend finding out something about a friend and deciding to um, end this relationship okay so it's as if you found out something about a friend in the first uh, in and the end of January going in to um, in end of uh, December going into January about a, um, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you decide to make a decision to end this friendship relationship or in a situation but it's like a friendship that is about to end okay now there is um, there is a situation where the energy of you're having 
hardship with this person and uh, the seven of cups is here which is saying to you there's a lot of opportunities or there are multiple other places uh, that you can go temperance comes in your second major or corner you have balance and temperance so obviously a lot of you Aquarians need to balance out a situation in your life okay so when we look at temperance we have there's a lot of opportunities that are there and um, um, some of you are trying to balance out these opportunities that are coming in um, justice is going to be coming in for the people who have been having legal situation justice is going to be coming up but um, I have to explain this as we move forward with the extended reading so remember um, the monthly readings are always 50 minutes and um, the extended reading is there to um, pick up um, so let's look justice and the ang woman we have the three of Pentacles so this is um, <clears throat> really wonderful whatever the situation is um, there is going to be coming and um, a balance with for some of you women some of you women were um, affected with a legal situation or in a conflicts and the, you're going to be trying to work together to balance out the situation so um, it is um, justice coming in to work together um, to balance out whatever the situation is okay because justice with the three of Pentacles it's um, uh, a legalities that is going to be worked out together um, with you and something that was um, transpired so um, there is balance because balance and this is going to be happening for some people in the third week going in the fourth week so for some people um, it's going to be happening in the fourth week going in the fifth week now as we look at the energy of the six of swords with the princess of Pentacles the energy of the six of swords with the princess of Pentacles has to do with some of you who were in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or in the relationship with someone who has this in their um, birth sign what is going to be happening is that you are going to be balanced this out um, the it's as if um, a surge of energy um, the source the universe is going to be coming in and balancing out this situation okay so um, this situation is definitely going to be balanced out for whatever that was happening um, I'm seeing the universe stepping in and positive energies is coming out to balance the situation out some of you could be um, connecting with um, uh, a steer um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person which is going to be opening up a lot of doors for you and this is going to be good this could be happening in the third week because in the third week is where a lot of doors of opportunity is going to be opening up for you guys so as we look at this energy in the third week what else is coming out we have the energy of the hermit the energy of the hermit um, this is a scorpion that is coming in and could be helping out some of you some of you are dealing with um, the, the Taurus we're going to Capricorn and the scorpion people now um, whatever the situation is is that the Sun and the hermit is that a truth something that was hidden is about to come out something that was hidden is about to come out and this is good and something that was hidden um, about uh, um, um someone around you a friend a female energy a friend it's going to be coming out something that was hidden about a female friend that energy is going to be coming out okay let's see what else is happening we have the energy of the four of Pentacles so there is going to be um, balancing out of your financial situation um, whatever the lies and deception was about your financial situation this is going to be um, it's going to be showing that it's not true and this is um, really going to be um, balanced out so um, this is going to be good because what is transpiring in um, the fourth week it's about justice this is one of your best week because in the fourth week what is transpiring is that you have the energy of uh, the temperance that is coming in which is the major or corner and this balance which is about to come in 
is going to be affecting your financial stability and you're going to be receiving help with that and that is going to be good okay as we look in the fifth week what is here in the fifth week um, you have the seven of ones you are standing guard to, and you're standing and protecting yourself and this is going to be good you're standing guards and protecting yourself and this is definitely definitely um, going to be good okay um, you're really standing guards and um, protecting yourself now this could be happening in the second week when in the third week you're standing guards trying to protect yourself you could be protecting yourself from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but you're standing guard and protecting yourself now what I'm seeing is that you're going to be receiving the energy to stand your guard and protect yourself as we look at the um, third week going in the fourth week the outcomes is going to be the four of cups you're going to be having some regrets you're definitely going to be having some regrets whatever the situation is you're definitely definitely going to be having some regrets so um, the regrets could be um, coming up because it's as if something um, is being shed so some of you who were dealing with um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, the central of your reading is basically you need to look at yourself you need to look what is going to be happening is that in this month it's as if a light is going to be shed on certain aspects certain situation that is affecting you and um, for the personalized reading you will see um, where this is coming up and how this is going to be um, moving you forward um, in your life um, in this um, coming year okay because it is about to start this this um, in the third week your birthday um, is about to start for you Aquarians okay but let's look and see what is the energy vibration that is coming out and I gotta get this further up so I can put get the last card um, because this is definitely um, definitely going to be because it's five weeks it's it's very long and um, I need everyone to see um, what's basically is happening because it's a very 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 um, long month so we are going to be um, finding out because what is transpiring is that some of you or you know have some regrets and you're standing your ground let's see what's coming out for the Aquarians in the month of of January 2019 you have the six of ones the energy of six of ones so um, through all the difficulty and the hardship um, the energy of the six of ones is here okay so through all the difficulties that you have gone through and the hardship that you have um, gone through what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that basically um, the end the message in the end is going to be good for you guys okay so um, that is um, really wonderful and really positive now um, uh, for the extended readings because we're going to do um, the animal the spirit guides for you Aquarians and the star seed so um, we got to do and see what is coming out for the star seed Syrian star seeds so I'm calling up in the Syrian star seed we're working with you guys um, in the month of January and we're calling up on the spirit guides the spirit guides we're calling up on the spirit guides and the Syrian to see what is going to be coming out for the Aquarians I'm guided and um, to use um, the uh, spirit guides and um, as usual we are going to be having um, two different animal spirit guides and you need to choose one of them okay so this is the first one and this is the second one so for the first one we have the energy of the crow spirit co-create with spirit co-create with spirit you have the number 17 which is good this is the energy of the star so call learn to co-create with spirit listen to your own intuition 
it is the deck of uh, trust your own intuition and this is going to be good if you have the second card it is the card of the ego spirit spirit has your back spirit have your back number 23 23 is five so there's going to be changes so there's actually what they're saying is strength in the changes that is about to happen ego spirit uh, spirit has your back so these are extra messages that is coming out for you guys which is good for a more extended reading we need to find out what um, series have to say um, the planetary aspect the planetary and the star seeds of series what do they have to say for you Aquarians you have the nine of chalice your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true so this is beautiful um, for you guys I want to say thank you for being here and we are going to be taking this out to the another level I will speak to you guys namaste okay welcome to on demand welcome to on demand and I want to ask you guys to send um, to explain to other people about the on demand because the on demand is very good um, to um, use it to connect um, with other um, messages other situations okay on demand is um, very good because what what happened with on demand is that you receive more information that is going to be helping you guys okay so we're going to be going forward uh, king of pepper we're going to be going forward and we are going to be looking at what is going to be coming up for you guys but I'm just kind of separating your cards because I never get to do that before I'm going to be looking at the extended version of this reading whatever the situation is we are really going to be looking at the extended version version of this reading to see exactly what is coming out what is going to be transpiring <clears throat> because a lot of things is about to happen in the month of January this is a new month but also new things that is going to be happening for you guys okay so just um, bear with me what I should say is that invite other people to try and get these on demand because um, they are very 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 important these on demand is coming up they're very important because what is uh, what is happening what I'm trying to do is help people to have more information to deal with the month okay the month is um, very very positive so um, in order to know what is going on we need to really really um, know what is coming up so um, to be aligned with the energies we are going to be seeing what exactly is going to be affecting and I'm, I'm using this deck and I'm wondering who or what because it's just going to be about peace and that sort of a thing so let's see um, what is going to be happening 